Hello everyone. So this is a short video in which I really want to demonstrate and kind of try to make it very simple to understand what F, Z or Z, F is and why I think that it is so great and so amazing, even for people who don't have so much understanding and experience with the Linux command line. So if you, if you go to the GitHub page of that project, it says FZF or FZF is a common line fuzzy finder. Well, that already sounds a bit technical. And <laughs> honestly, if you scroll down, you will see that it seems to be and can do a lot, right? I mean, just take a look at the table of contents. It's huge. And it seems to provide integrations with WIM, which is a very popular text editor and very sort of geeky. So apparently this tool is amazing and can do a lot for you. And well, I, I only understand sort of, well, not even 10%, I guess, of what it could do uh, for me, but I'm also not a really technical user. So what I want to do here, my aim is to present this common line fuzzy finder in a way that is accessible to maybe an absolute beginner of Ubuntu, right? So. So what can this thing do for you on a, let's say a, a brand new Ubuntu installation? And why do I believe that it is so, so incredibly useful? So basically the, the one and only feature I use from that FZF, FZF is the following. Once installed, what I can do here is I open the terminal window and here, what I can do is I just press control R and now it allows me to go through my recent history of commands, right? I just go through the history here by default. I think it displays 10 and I just select what I want, right? Return. And there it is. So this is just brilliant, right? Because often I cannot really remember what I had to type in to do a certain command. So I could press control R. And maybe I recall something about update, right? And then it just shows me the commands related to update. Brilliant. There is another way even. So let's say um, you want to install a local package. So you downloaded maybe a program in uh, a depth format, right? And now it resides somewhere on your hard drive and you don't even remember where it was. Well, but you may recall the command to actually install a local package, with, which would be sudo dpkg-i. And then, well, now you need the package name, but where, where, how to locate this package, right? So with this fzf, what I can do is I press control T and now I can just search for that, All right? Perfect, what do I wanna install? Let's say Skype for Linux, I press return. And look, it auto completes this command. Isn't that amazing? So I would say, I guess FZF, FZF can do a lot more, but these are just two features which make it just outstanding. And uh, I think it is a lot of help to new users, right? Who, who are brand new to Linux. So I actually would say make this default on, on one of the future Ubuntu's. It's so incredibly useful. That's all. I hope you liked the video, find it useful. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below the video. Thank you.